What? Like, I, I've been in a relationship for almost five years, y'all. I would never do that. Your boy got the full body do rag out. Drop the roof and let the smoke clear. I got diamonds to win since he slides in both ears. Dice rolling on the Las Vegas trip tonight. Hey, you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Naela. So, today's video is a chit chat. Get ready with me. And I will show you guys how I got this look. I wore this to brunch for my friend Tiffany's birthday brunch. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I did my hair, my makeup, my outfits, please keep on watching. Okay. Hey guys, I'm starting off the video with the hair. So I know I look crazy right now. But I just want to show you guys my hair that I'm going to be wearing. And I got a lot of compliments on this wig, this unit. So this is a wig v part wig to be exact and this is a kinky curly texture so it's very curled it mimics like someone with 4b 4c hair and i myself have 4b hair so this was a frontal at first if you can see it was a frontal but i cut it into a v part so i actually cut it myself into a v part just so i have my leave out and this hair is from my hair company I want to do a formal video, but you guys know I sell hair. Well, I don't know if I really talked about it on here. So, you guys know, well, I have a hair company called N Extensions. I sell wigs, bundles, clip-ins, um, tape-ins, eye tips, everything. So, this is the kinky curly texture we have. And it is, I cut it a little bit, but I believe this is a 12-inch hair kinky curl. Because curls are shorter than, you know, they're shorter than straight hair anyway. So this is, I believe it's 12 inch and I cut it a little bit. So it might be like 10 maybe. So I'm going to put this in my head. And I just put it on like this. And I love it so much because it matches my hair so good, y'all. Like, I wanted something because I went out to brunch. So this is going to be like the get ready with me for that, <laughs> that, um, video i mean that you know sunday i went out to brunch with my friend tiffany it was her birthday so this is exactly what i'm gonna show you the exact outfit i wore and everything um so yeah this is the hair i have in well i had in I, i'm still wearing it this week so yes yeah, it looks kind of off like the, the um I'll try to cut it, you know, to mimic. Yeah, this hair is super cute, y'all. I'm so happy. Um, oh, hold on. I have three. My hair is braided down. I have three sections of my hair out. And at night, I braid, do like a, I braid my hair and put um, curling cream in it. So, this is the hair. It looks so good. It mimics my actual natural hair, so I like it so much. But my hair, my natural hair, probably wouldn't be as full as this. And this has, I think, I believe, this is an old wig, y'all. So this has three bundles. Well, it's probably two and a half bundles in it, sewn into it. And yeah, I got a lot of compliments on this. Like, oh my god, your hair is so pretty. Is that your natural hair? Like, um, yes, it is. I actually dyed this wig a little bit too like a black my hair is like dark dark brown like my hair is dark brown so i kind of try to dye i like my wigs black so i tried to dye them that color and yes yeah, so i tried to dye i dyed this kind of black so it's a little darker than my actual natural hair but it it blends the best it's my hair is not like a dark brown it's like a black dark brown i don't know it's a weird weird color but so this is how it looks put this one side out like it looks exactly um i'm trying to show you guys it matches perfectly like perfectly perfect and i just do that all over I take out all the sections of my hair so this way is very convenient for me easy and cute so yep this is how it looks on the back, I try to fluff up the black a little bit. So this is the back. This is the back. And yeah, so this is the wig. Like I said, very easy and cute. So that's how I get my style, period. And I put a little, um, 
I put a little gel on my like edges right here because this hair right here in my like right in the center is like very long so I'll usually like to slick it down and it's a very good protective style like if you don't like I said if you don't want to touch your hair every day mess with your hair like your whole head it's very easy because you just you see I have just like three sections of my hair out just to cover you know the the parting but other than that like I said it's a very good easy quick protective style I love it it looks cute natural and yeah and I just cut some like layers in the front so it can match my hair because my hair is a little shorter right here than in the back so yep I love this style y'all so cute super cute super cute so yep that is the hair and that's how I wore my hair Sunday um so now we just get into the makeup usually I like to do my makeup first actually because the hair be in the way but I'm not trying to be on here look crazy but um this is not a makeup tutorial this is a chit chat so I asked y'all some questions on Instagram to ask me some questions and I feel like I have a lot of new subscribers on my channel so I just want to you know you guys to get to know me again and yeah so I got a couple questions okay so the first one is how old am I um I'm 20 y'all I'll be forgetting my age sometimes I'm 23 I go to Morgan State right now. I'm still in school. Um, that was another question. And yes, yeah, so I'm 23. I turned my birthday's in September, Virgo, period. Um, yeah, so I go I still go to school. I'm in Morgan. That was another question. Am I still in school? Yes, I am. I was going through it. I'm just like just thinking like I don't know what I want to do in life like do I still want to be in school do I still want to be in that major and of course yes I still want to be in school I still want to graduate um so I was in electrical engineering and now I'm back well now I changed my major to civil so it was just different it was just different reasons why I changed my major I was just really not even interested in it no more I'm just questioning myself like why did I even get into this major? Like, like, where do I see myself in the future? And I just changed my major. So yeah, I'm in civil engineering. The good thing, it didn't like put me back too much. Probably like two extra classes I have to do. But um, yeah, so I'm still trying to graduate. I still, I still want the having the, the my. I still want to have a degree for myself. You know, like I still that's still an accomplishment of mine. Like I still want to graduate. So. Yes, I'm still in school. I'm trying to graduate, y'all. Trying to graduate, okay? Pray for your girl, okay? Yeah, so that's what's going on with me. Kind of life update. Um, yeah, so I started... Well, I started my hair business back in... I started my hair business... It's been probably a year officially, like, starting my business. Like, me being focused into actually doing it. But I just got my LLC in January this year, so this year I've really been more focused on my bit, like the business side of my business, like actually like getting my business registered and everything. So I got it registered in January. Um, I opened my business account, so I'm just really right now focusing on that really heavy because that is something I like to do. I like to do hair. I like to make wigs. I like to do my own hair. So I was like, okay, let me just start selling hair because people always ask about my hair, like, oh, where you get your hair from? I'm like, me, I sell hair. So yeah, it's been pretty good. Like um, this summer, I'm really trying to, I'm trying to get my website built now. So I'm in the process of doing that and just buying, getting hair for, on hand because I get a lot of questions like, oh, do you have hair on hand? So I'm like, okay, let me just get hair on hand because the girls need their hair. So yeah, I'm trying to, um, that's one of my goals I'm trying to do right now is just focus on my business and my YouTube too. My YouTube's been growing a lot. Um, thankfully, thankful to y'all. Thank you. Um, and like the last year I've like last year I was just, it's just different things I focus myself on. And then when I'm like in that mode of focusing, that's all I want to focus on. Like 
like school was my main focus last year so i'm like okay well it's it's very hard to balance like school and youtube and my business and stuff so yeah my youtube was kind of slacking i wasn't really posting as much or as consistent so i'm like okay this year i need to do better i'm trying to get you know monetized and stuff like that so that's been my main focus this year oh yeah so yeah my youtube i've been trying to be more consistent put out more just good quality videos and i got a new lens so i feel like this year is the year of me just like really focusing on myself and then just doing the things that i like and just you know building on that like i've been trying i've been budgeting a lot <laughs> i've been trying to save more because i'm like these last couple of years like your girl just been just been spending her money and not you know saving it or just using it towards stuff i'm really trying to focus on so i've just been i think it's just maturing in general i've just been maturing so just like okay just stop buying unnecessary stuff you don't need and like the stuff i buy now like has to have a purpose like it either has to be for my youtube it has to be for my business or that's that like seriously like it's either for a video or for my business at this point because it's just no point in me just buying stuff it, it has to have a purpose to me now so if it has no purpose i'm not buying it <laughs> like i've been strict on myself like okay you want some you want things like i want some clothes i want some shoes but like how's that benefiting me you know so right now i'm just in that mode of like kind of grinding you know just getting myself in that mode so yeah that was another question um what was another question oh um somebody asked what's my favorite clothing store so mm, good question right now I would say, I don't know, y'all, I really don't know, like, I kind of, not stop shopping, but, like, I'm, I'm trying a lot of new places, so, honestly, like, all around, I would probably say my favorite store right now is probably Shein. They just have a lot of, they don't, I mean, their quality's been going up, their shipping's fast, you can return stuff, you don't have to pay for, like, the returning, and... And they just have a lot of stuff on there and their quality has been going up so i would say shein right now i've been finding a lot of new places i like to shop like um like i used to shop in misguided i like just did a haul on that so make sure to check out that video but it's been a minute since i shopped on there they have some good stuff boohoo has good stuff i like fashion nova their pants is good for tall girls but like their, their return policy is kind of crazy to me so i'm just i haven't shopped on fashion nova in a long time so um pretty little thing i don't even shop on there no more because first of all i think their stuff is overpriced and their quality is not good it, it there's the stuff sucks to be honest they have cute stuff like their stuff is cute but like the quality sucks like I should not be having something that that comes with a hole or rips easy or something like that and i had that problem way too many times and i feel like their stuff is just kind of ridiculous ridiculous ridiculously priced like it's just kind of crazy mm, and i just mm, i just don't do pretty little thing anymore so i haven't shopped on there so i would say probably shein right now is my favorite store to shop on like I said, they have cute stuff and the quality's going up. So, I mean, I wouldn't say it's good to get like everything from Shein, but they have good quality. Like, it's been going up. So, yeah, Shein is my favorite store right now. This is another question, y'all. If you had it your way, how would your life be for you in about 10 years? That's a nice question. Um, well, if I had it my way, in the next 10 years, I'll be 30. How old am I? 23 i'll be 33 so probably i would like to have had started having kids by then and then just living just having my own place yeah having kids by then and just having my business successful and just me just living my best life i feel like that's where i see myself in 10 years like I want to have kids like my late 20s so I'm not like too old but just live my best life in my 30s like that's why I'm trying to really grind myself now like 
not doing any dumb stuff just really taking my 20s seriously and just just grinding you know like i feel like your 30s is your time to like kind of not chill but you're, you could still be growing in your 30s because 30s is still young but like but you're it's not as like your 20s like you're just going through like oh what you want to do in life where do you see yourself but 30s i feel like it's definitely a little more chill should be a little bit more chill than your 20s so i definitely see myself like successful and with my kids in my house just living my best life so yeah that's where i see myself in my 30s um what else do i want to talk about somebody asks would i want to stay in maryland or would i move out of state and i've had this i've thought about this so many times y'all like the only okay i have two states in mind i will move to well miami i will move there and probably la but la is very expensive so you really have to have i mean i'm not saying i won't have money <laughs> i will but I would see, I could see myself moving to LA or Miami. Miami, probably not for long term, but like just for, you know, a couple years, just to have, say like, oh, I've lived down there. Um, but I really see myself in Maryland now. Like you just have to, you can't, I feel like you just have to weigh the pros and cons of like moving to a different state. Like you really have to go by the governor, the the state laws and all that that's where i've been playing like because before i like i liked florida but like their laws is crazy to me i just don't agree with the laws so that's the only thing that's kind of like i would say would hold me back from moving to miami but i will live there for a couple years but like i like maryland i like the area i live in the dmv area is a good area i feel like it's a lot of just black excellence in this area which i like as well and it's not like uncommon to see you know black people just doing good so i feel like it's no reason for me to move out of such a good area that's that's you know treating us good we we don't have like it's not like problems for black people and in this area and it's just a lot of successful black people and a lot of successful successful black businesses in this area so i don't see myself like leaving this area to be honest i like it like when i was younger i'm like oh my god i can't wait to move to another state like oh my gosh i cannot be here but once you get older you really have to consider like all that other stuff like it's just so much stuff you have to consider that's just not oh i just want to move here like no you have to consider where you're moving like the housing like the rent um like the laws like it's just so much to consider and I like this area, so I, I see myself living here, to be honest. Like I said, unless I move to Miami for a few years or LA, but yeah, I like this area. Um, so what else? Another question is, what would you do if you're conflicted from starting your own business and working? Well, okay. Another question I got is, what is your views on working a nine to five? Which I'm kind of, honestly, I'm sick of this topic though. But like, there's nothing wrong with working a nine to five. Like, people have to work, you know? Like, it's not, I think this generation is just, well, one, we have social media. So social media plays a lot into what we see and then just, just different things we hear. So what we're seeing a lot right now is just people owning their own businesses and being successful, which is nice, but like you don't see people like really talk about, oh, oh, I'm just working my nine to five, um, blah, 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 which I understand a lot of people is like, like, I mean, I feel like if anybody would choose, nobody would work because like who wants to work to be honest, like even a, even a owning even having your own business is still working. You just work for yourself. But like if anybody can choose, nobody's gonna work. So, you know, I feel like if people wanna work nine to five, not everybody wants to own a business. So you have to think about that. Like, I don't understand why it's such a big topic. Like, oh, nine to five, I only work nine to five, blah, blah, blah. Like, 
okay? People working 9 to 5 still make great money. I mean, some people have like great jobs, you know, like doctors, nurses, engineers, like there's people out there that work 9 to 5s and make good money. So like and then you have more, you can have benefits, like you have benefits, retirement, you get you just get a lot with a 9 to 5 and you can't get that like you could get it, but it's it's just different. So I feel like it's nothing wrong with working 9 to 5. Um, and that's just that. Oh yeah, that's my views on working a 9 to 5. It's nothing wrong with it. Just for me, I feel like uh, you just have a little bit more freedom. I feel like life should be about freedom. Like even working a 9 to 5, I feel like, like they need to change the weekends to Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Like the weekend should be three days. It's no reason why we are working three, five days a week and just have two days on the weekend. Like that makes no sense. I know that was, I don't know. They just need to change some of the laws. But like, I feel like you're living life. Like life is like, we're just living to work, you know? So a lot of people probably, you know, just want more freedom. And I understand that because that's what I want too. I just feel like it's more than just, you know, working in life. So that's just my view. Um, yeah, so that's my view on that. Um, Yo, I'm sorry I'm not saying the products, but like this was kind of more of a chit chat get ready with me. Um, but right now I'm just using my Charlotte Tilbury powder. I love this powder so much. I use it under my eyes, just everywhere I conceal kind of. And it just helps set the areas. And my makeup might look a little crazy. I feel like I do my makeup best when I'm not talking. If I'm just like, just sitting doing my makeup, I'm just, I just feel like I'm just doing anything right now. But, um, so yeah, that's my views on that. And, um, and it was another topic I want to talk about. It was something kind of going viral on TikTok. Just, I forgot, I think it was light skin Keisha. I don't understand why her name said it anyway. But she was talking about how if her boyfriend calls and she's out with her friends, she's leaving her friends to go with her boyfriend. Like, what? Like, I, I've been in a relationship for almost five years, y'all. I would never do that. I'm sorry. <laughs> like, my boy, I love my boyfriend. And then just like, that's crazy. Like, you with your friends, but your boyfriend called, oh, come on, let's go. You just gonna leave him? Like, no. You not gonna have no friends. Like, and people just agreeing with her. I was just really surprised. Like, I'm sorry. Like, do you not have friends? Like, I feel like it's a balance. If you're with your friends, you should be with your friends. If you're with your boyfriend, you could be with your boyfriend. But you have that balance. Like, I feel like I'm I do see my boyfriend at least like almost every day. But when I wanna go out with my friends, I wanna go out with my friends. And I feel like that's how it should be anyway. Like like you need space from your partner you can't just i mean you could be with them 24 7 but like if you want friends you you're gonna you can't do that like like th that was just crazy to me i just i really was shocked by how many people was agreeing with her i'm like no like i enjoy having time with like my girlfriends like it's just it's just a different vibe one and then like you just could talk about you know girl things and then you know girl you know girls understand girls more than guys do so i just feel like it's just different having girlfriends and then being with your boyfriend like it's you just need balance like but like leaving when they call i'm just like mm -mm. no that's crazy but another topic i want to talk about i think my makeup's almost done y'all i did my eyebrows I really don't, I mean, I do my makeup a little better than this when I'm going out. Like I said, I'm talking, so it's like kind of hard to focus on my makeup. And I'm using this makeup by Mario blush in the color Poppy Pink. I love this blush. It's so pretty. Um... So it was another topic I want to talk about was marriage. Like, what do you think about marriage in our generation? I just feel like just having conversations with, you know, people at work and stuff like that. I just feel like 
I mean, I want to get married personally, but I feel like it's not enough of marriage before kids. But you could, you know, people could do what they want. You know, it's, it's, I don't really care. I mean, it's your life, not mine. But like, I just feel like myself, I want to get married before I have kids. And if I do have kids before I get married, it's unplanned. It's not planned. Like, I just see myself getting married before I have kids. And um, that's just my choice. But like, I just feel like what we see in our generation is just, I don't see a lot of people getting married. Um, it's just a lot of, you know, kids after kids after kids after kids and no ring. It's just like, where's the ring? Like, I just feel like if you just, if you're giving, if you have a kid like unplanned or even if it's planned, it's okay. But like, if you just keep having kids by, you know, your partner, this man, and he's not like seeming like he's gonna propose or anything, it's just like, I would just be questioning it, like, okay, are we gonna get married? Like, just does he wanna have kids with me, not get married? I just feel like, I mean, you don't know what goes with, with you don't know what goes on with the, with couples, but I just feel like we don't see a lot of marriage in our generation. I think it's getting better a little bit, but it's just a lot of baby mamas and baby daddies, which I'm not into. And I'm not mm -mm. like I said, I wouldn't even date if I was single a guy with kids. Like, no, I'm not about to be nobody's stepmama, you know. So yeah, that's just my opinion on that. Um, I just feel like we should we should just have a little bit of more marriage in our generation. Just so it just solidifies, you know, your relationship a little bit more. To me, I just feel like it just makes it a little bit more special than just, okay, I'm just having kids by this man, but you know, we not getting married. But yeah, that's just my opinion on that. I have my morphe liner and this is by i mean it's by morphe it's the color sweet tea so i line my lips with this and then i use my lipstick by hooded beauty liquid matte and this is in the shade crush this is a pink color i like it and i want like a nice pink lip and it's very matte so i do i have my morphe lip gloss in the color Bo boohoo boho and I just go over that with this. This is like a pinky color too. So that's my lip combo when I wanna do a pink lip. I think it's pretty cute and just, just a nice pink lip. So I'm back and I'm dressed. This is exactly what I was wearing the other day. So this is a shirt I got from Misguided. If you did not watch my last video, this is one of the satin shirts I got. It's just in white. I don't know a while ago, this one, but. And I got the pants I wore. It's not pants, but. These shorts. If, make sure to go watch my last Zara haul. I wore these shorts to the, um, I wore these shorts from Zara from the brunch and I have these nails it's almost y'all your girls want cool, cool. I have these rings don't mind my nails I'm about to do them these rings I got from Shein all of them so cute from Shein and this bracelet is from JBW this wash I mean this necklace probably from Shein and this bag is from Shein okay Shein's my girl that's what I said that's one of my favorite stores and I also wore these Bottega inspired shoes and they strap up also from Shein. So, and you guys, I forgot to mention my fragrance. So the fragrance I wore that day is my Prada Candy. I love the scent. Oh, yeah, I love this scent, you guys. You see it's almost, almost halfway. It's just, it's so girly and just like so young and fun. So I love the scent. So this is also the scent I wore. So. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this chit chat. Get ready with me. Get, get to know me a little bit more. I know I have a lot of new subscribers. So I just wanted to do like a little chit chat. And I hope you guys enjoyed the hair, the, the makeup, and the outfit. So if you guys, so thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.
Sending action. These days, no kumaye. Yeah.